My name is Hadia and I live in Flemington. Nadine, she's two and three months. Uh, next year she can go to um, kindergarten and usually it's uh, from three years old and uh, and the, the three years old is way way expensive which I can afford it to send her. It's all the money you have to pay, it all come from your pocket and there's no help from government or all that so I have to wait until she's four years old which is um, funded through government. Yeah, so that's the only choice I have to wait until she's four years old. Education is much, much more important for my children and my family because um, that's the way for them to get education and get a career in the end and when they grow up. So it's much important for my family and my kids. I'm Cathy Walker and I'm an early childhood educator. I work almost every day with parents and teachers and I have to say I just see, I guess, the best and the worst of everything across the country. Generally speaking, we found in Victoria in the last few years, access to preschool education has been problematic for many families, families with non-English speaking backgrounds, refugee families, children with special needs, children in remote areas of the country. Indigenous children were not accessing and participating in preschool. So you've already got a group of children who already have other challenges in their lives with another whole set of challenges that their peers have not had to have. I think the state government needs to stop the rhetoric and actually really step up. It needs to be much better funded, much more easy for children to come to preschool, to spend more time in preschool, to be included, particularly those groups that would benefit most. We've got a long way to go in terms of real equity and quality in preschool education here in Victoria. My name's Peter Coates, I'm the Croydon Campus Chair at Swinburne University TAFE. In the last 18 months TAFE fees have increased up to 160% which is really becoming um, uh, too expensive for most students. As a result the state government and the university and TAFE campuses have had to incorporate these diplomas into the HECS scheme because they are completely unobtainable for people to pay up front. Traditionally, uh, TAFE is meant to be an affordable way to gain uh, industry recognised skills. Uh, now people are now paying for their courses years after they've actually gained their qualification. Well, I, I think the problems that, that we, we're going to be faced with this issue is not only are we going to have a skills shortage in, in, in the uh, workforce, but we're also going to have people who, who are completely disenchanted with, with their work careers. I think the state governments can take control of this issue by making uh, TAFE courses affordable and encouraging people to gain skills and to get into the workforce. The Greens understand that investment in education is investment in our future. That's why the Greens plan for education will give all children access to two years free kindergarten while removing fees from all public education, including TAFE. To find out more, please visit vic.greens.org.au.